two, three, and action. We can shoot, let's say, five locations a day. And can you move this building more left? Yep, yep. Take a look how cool that we have reflections here. That's funny if it's morning because they're still drinking. It's okay. I'm gonna finish your wine. Hi guys, my name is Daniel Shirekin and I'm a head of virtual production at Gorodenkov Productions. Now let's get out of this roof so I could tell you and show you how exactly we approach our virtual production process. So let's start with what VP virtual production actually is. So what do we have? What do we want when we make a shot? We want a certain location and a certain action in it. The first thing we need to do is to separate our set into the practical part and the virtual part. And the virtual part is being represented by this huge curved screen we have right here. And it's powered by a real engine. It's working in real time. This is a three-dimensional living world that is reacting to the position and the rotation of the camera we have right here. And that's happening thanks to the tracking system it has installed on it. And that way we're able to fully imitate the depth and the believable perspective of if we wouldn't just have this flat screen in here, but if this is an actual deep world. So right now we're about to start shooting this romantic scene about the couple on the roof. And I'm right here at my working desk. I have the monitoring of what the camera is seeing. I can see what's going on on the wall, as well as I have full control of what's happening in the virtual world right here with many different adjustments in real time. So let's get started. Okay, ready and action. I think you should put your hand at some point, not from the beginning. Yeah. Ready? For one more? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and laughing. Take a look how cool is that we have reflections here mm -hmm. from the screen. We actually have the camera and the tracking system set up right now, so let's actually show it in action. Yeah, I can move the camera around. And as you can see, first room looks, uh, moves around with the camera. Yeah, we can see how the perspective is perfectly aligned as well as the edges of the frost dome are following exact position of the camera right now. So everything is working in real time and imitating the real depth that goes beyond the surface of the screen. One, two, three, and action. Yeah, looks cool. Let's go like two levels higher, two floors higher. Okay, let's do that. How about this? Yeah, looks cool. Let's make one more. Yeah. Can you move the moon a bit to the right? All right. Let's say somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks better. Or even, yeah, I, I like it, looks cool. I think it's the right time to have a golden hour. All right, let's have a look then. Cool. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, I like this. Yeah, yeah. I, I like when we have these reflections in buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so move some. We can easily uh, find the angle. Whoa. <laughs> let's make move it a, a bit back as it used to be. Not as intense, right? Yeah, and also I was thinking about one thing that many producers and directors have a believing that virtual production is slow and difficult because they had some kind of experience three or five years ago when the things just started. And I also remember these times, it took a lot of time. Even remember when we had to move some object, you had to bake the light. Is, yeah, it, yeah. is it how it's called, baking the light, right? Baking the light, yeah. Yeah, it took like hours to move things around, but now you can see, you just move the sun around and everything is in real time. Yeah, things update all the time. Things yeah. improve all the time. Like six months, things can get unlocked a lot. One of the most powerful things about virtual production is creative freedom it gives us. 
We can shoot, let's say, five locations a day. Travel from New York rooftop to desert or Mars is just limited by your imagination. It saves a lot of time because you don't have to travel from one location to another. What I personally love about virtual production is that it gives you full creative freedom. Directors can tell us how they imagine the world and we can create it. It could be absolutely real or absolutely unreal. Magic forest, mountains, there could be dragons flying on the wall. Limit is just your imagination. Do we want to tell people about how cool this volumetric light and how this fog is and we can control it? I really like how we have very nice shafts right here in, the, in this morning fog here. Really That's nice. funny if it's morning because they're still drinking. Well, yeah, they're still drinking. It's okay. Daniel, can you move this building a bit lower? The one that is on the right from Empire State Building? The white one? Yeah. Mm. Lower. Lower? Yeah, more. Yeah, looks cool. Oh. And maybe add some birds. So is the amount of birds okay? Uh, I think that's a bit too much of the birds. Yeah. Can you <laughs> make a bit less? Yeah, that's a bit crazy. Let's go with, I don't know, 25 birds. Let's make 50 birds. 50? Yeah. I can make them bigger. Yeah, let's make them a bit bigger. Two and a half. Maybe. A yeah, it's good. Perfect. And can you move this building more left? Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. What's actually very special about the Rodankov production specifically is that we're all in-house. So while we have the artists on the virtual production side, we have artists on the practical set side, and we work on the environment together. So while the, our monster of an art department we're putting the set together, they were seeing what I was going for on the screen in real time, so they were able to match the colors of the bricks and everything just naturally. Okay, I think it's good. It's a wrap, thank you. I'm gonna finish your wine. All right, this wraps it up. We've got the whole project shot in one day. How many shots was it? Uh, I believe around 10. It wasn't super efficient because of this. We're still learning how to shoot all these logs. But I think it was a pretty cool job for the first time. Thank you, Daniel. You showed everything perfectly. Yeah, th that, was, uh, that was pretty cool. Went quite smoothly and definitely was a lot of fun shooting content like this. So you guys make sure to subscribe and look forward for more content like this. Thank you. Bye. Turn off the lights, please.